Daisy Reader. To access the Daisy Reader, select the Daisy Reader icon. From here, it is possible to open any of the Daisy books stored on your computer. Select it and click on OK. The Daisy book now opens. On the left is the table of contents. From here, it is possible to move to any section of the Daisy book. To move to a specific section, click on the link. To start reading the book, simply select the play icon. Ten not many days after we heard the church bell tolling for a long time, and look. To stop it reading, click on Stop. You can use these buttons to navigate through the book. Move to the first page, back a page, forward a page, and to the last page. As you read through the Daisy book, you can also add bookmarks. This allows you to keep your place when you have finished reading. Or you can also use this to mark a number of interesting pages for use in reports or essays. To set a bookmark on a page, click on Add a new bookmark. Enter an appropriate name for the bookmark and then choose Save Bookmark. The bookmark will now be added to the Bookmark drop down menu and can be viewed again by selecting it from the list and clicking here. The Daisy Reader has the ability to search for specific words or phrases within the book. To do this, type in what you want to search for and then click here. In the Display menu, you can select Display Options. Here you can change the font, the font size, and colors used in the Daisy Reader.